Zoax.net. Lesson 10. Links. Links provide a way to open another HTML page from our current one. For example, this page shows a link to Zoax.net. If we left click it, the web page for Zoax.net will load and replace this one. This is how a link works. The HTML for this page looks like this. For contrast, I put two paragraph elements in this page. The second paragraph has a link around Zoax.net. The link is generated by an A tag. The A stands for anchor, but you do not need to worry about that. This anchor element is sometimes called a hyperlink, but more commonly it is just called a link. The primary attribute of an A element is the href. The href is set to some other location that we wish to get our content from. In this case, our href is set to the main page of Zoax.net. Opening this document, we see our two paragraphs with the same text in them. Notice that the second one has Zoax.net colored differently and underlined. If we put our cursor over this text, it changes to a hand to show that it is a clickable link. Notice that the color of the link is blue. If, like me, you have never been to Zoax.net, your text will be blue. Left clicking the link, we see the main page of Zoax.net in place of our page. If we open that page again, the link is now purple to show that we have already been there. That was a simple example to show us how we can link to external web pages. We can also link to other pages on our computer. This example contains a link to the previous HTML page that we had. Opening this document, we see a page with a link on the word previous. Left clicking this link opens our last page. As the purple links indicate, these pages have all been visited before. This next example demonstrates that we can use images instead of text for links. Inside this A element, we have an image element for our logo. Opening the document, we see this. It is not apparent that this image is a link. However, if we mouse over it, the cursor changes to indicate that it is clickable. We can click this link to go to the main page of Zoax.net, just as before. We have seen that links allow us to load remote web pages or local HTML pages, but they can also be used to navigate to a particular position inside a page. In this example, we have two links. Each of the links has an ID so that we can jump to it. The little hash mark on the link reference indicates that we are jumping to an ID. So this first link jumps to the second link, and the second link jumps to the first. I added a bunch of images to the list to make the jumps more apparent. Opening the document, we see this. Our links and images are in a list element, and if we click on the first link, we are taken to the second link. If we click on the second link, we are taken back to the first, and we can go back and forth. In our next example, we introduce the target attribute. This attribute tells us where to open the page. The default value is self, and it opens the linked page in place of the current document. However, we can provide a different name, like here. There's nothing special about the name here. It is just a generic name specification. If we open this page, we see this. Clicking on one of the links will open a new tab to display the page, while keeping the old page open. We can think of the second tab as our Here tab. If we click on another link in the original page, it will replace the page in the Here tab with the content in the link. We can do that for all four links. In our final example, we demonstrate the self value of target versus the blank value. This example contains two links around the text same and new. Notice that the same link has the value self and new has the value blank. These links just link back to the current page, example6.html, for simplicity. Opening the page, we see the text same and new as links. Clicking on same opens this page in the same tab, while clicking new opens a new tab with this page in it. Repeatedly clicking New will open a bunch of tabs. As always, these examples are available on our website underneath the video.